Hello and welcome to a new episode of the CTO Show with Mehmet. My name is Mehmet. I share daily insights about the latest news and trends in technology while exploring their problem-solving abilities. I also talk about startups and the entrepreneurs behind their innovative products and services. Let's get started with this episode. Today, I want to talk and discuss about the rise of no-code tools and how they are enabling people to turn their ideas into reality without needing to write a single line of code. I will be also sharing with you a close look of my personal experience of the first week of a boot camp that I just started last week and how things are really starting to move. So let's dive in. First, let's talk about the rise of no-code tools. Have you ever had an idea or project for yourself or your business, but you didn't have the technical skills to bring it to life? Well, you are not alone. Many people have great ideas, but lack the coding expertise required to build a website or an app from scratch. This is where no-code tools comes in. These platforms offer drag-and-drop interfaces and pre-built components that allow anyone to create a functional website or app in a matter of days or even sometimes hours without needing to know how to code. Now, of course, I'm not saying this will replace the full need of a code. The more advanced stuff you will require for your idea, of course, you might need to return to have code. But just to start, just to have a minimum viable product, these tools are really enough to get you off the ground. No-code tools are not only easy to use, but they all also save time and money. No-code tools are not only easy to use, but they also save time and money. For example, a small business owner who needs a website can create one using no-code platform instead of spending thousands of dollars and months on building something from scratch. This means they can launch their website faster and a fraction of the cost. Now, let me share with you my experience of the first week of the bootcamp that I started it. I decided, although I have been exploring no-code tools for the past two to three years, but I wanted a platform where I can commit and I can also get into having some same-minded people to interact with. And this is why I choose the 100 Days of No-Code platform where I enrolled. And in just one week, I have learned a lot of things related to no-code tools and how to build really, maybe it looks simple, but yet powerful things with the no-code tools. The power of such boot camps or cohorts is not only regarding the material that you take there. In my opinion, the biggest power is the direct feedback you get from a larger community. And this is really something that will keep pushing you to dedicate to the main goal that pushed you to enroll in this bootcamp or cohort. For me, knowing these technologies from quite some time, and I will share some of the tools we used, I can name them. So we use software, we use Zapier, we use Notion, and of course, APIs to do few simple automations. But what I wanted to say, like really get you excited again because you're building something you thought you would not ever be able to do that. So it was quite an intensive because it's a little bit late at night for me, but that was completely fine. And I got some cool stuff built in. Hopefully you will start to share it on LinkedIn and Twitter in the coming weeks. So there you have it, the rise of no-code tools and how they are enabling people to bring their ideas to life. This is what we covered today. I also like shared with you my own experience. I will share some links as well, both in the episode description 
and on the social media as well. Thank you very much for listening. Tune in for the next episode tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed this topic. As usual, if you have any feedback, if you have any questions, I will always be happy to answer you. Thank you very much and meet you soon. Bye-bye.